Look at that, this is motor test of the week. This is actually a part two. Um, testing the uh, NTM prop drive uh, 2836 2200 kV motor again. Uh, had a comment from a nice guy. He uh, was wondering what it would do on a 7 inch prop. So uh, decided to do a part two on this one and try three different 7 inch props. Uh, I was going to do 7x4 but I haven't got three 7x4s. Uh, so I'm doing a 7x5 test. So I've got three different 7x5s and uh, see what they do on this motor. Uh, it's only on 3 cell. Got the Zippy 40C 2200 milliamp battery. And everything's all charged. Let's see what it does on a 7 inch prop. Uh, oh, I forgot to say that was a 7x5 ABC, APC rather, uh, electric prop. That was pretty good thrust to go out of that. And what we got? Oh, blimey, 63 amps, 695 watts. Yeah, that's a bit high. Yeah, well, it's not even warm. There's only a quick blast. Let's give it another blast. Cracky, that went up a bit. Sixty four point one amps, seven hundred nineteen watts. Motor is it did start to get a bit warm, but it's not uh, particularly warm. Where's my temperature thing? Up to 35 degrees. Let's try on this way. Oh, yeah, get a better reading from that way. Yeah, it's already up to 40.6 40 degrees. I've got that a bit warm. Alright, I'll probably have to top the battery up a little bit and I'll change props. Right, battery's topped up and I've changed over to a 7x5 TGS sport prop. Um, these are sometimes known as EMP props or what was it? YMP they're called if you get them from Banggood. Um, this might be a bit dodgy because I know that the 7 inch ones uh, draw more current than the APC 7 inch ones which is weird because 6 inches and below they draw less current than APC but let's give it a go see what we get on the thrust yes, it's struggling to turn that one. Oh Christ that was not a good idea Because that was 81 amps and 885 watts. That was a bit dodgy on a 50 amp speed controller. Yes, my my view is do not run a TGS uh, 7x5 on that motor. That was drawing ridiculous current. Right. 
I think that's it for that prop. Alright, let's see what else we got. Right, this next prop, uh, still a 7x5, but it's a JXF gas prop. So it's meant for petrol engines. But um, I found sometimes it's, if you've got a big, you know, reasonably powerful motor, it's sometimes better to use a gas prop. Um, I think the uh, electric props sort of think they're going to be running not very much power and so they're thinner and lighter and sometimes that causes them to warp and uh, maybe the pitch is a bit more than it should be but these are yeah it's a gas prop so see what we get on the thrust on that still a 7x5 I've charged up the battery right let's get the thrust reading out of it was a bit more thrust than the APC, wasn't it? And only 56 amps. What was it? 56.65, 634 watts. So that was a bit more thrust, but drawing a lot less current. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you're going to run a 7 inch prop, uh, use a gas prop. I think, um, I think I've tried uh, APC ones and there's, there's not a lot of difference between the JXF and the APC. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was it, 1700 grams of thrust. Off a bit, so it was over 1600. Yeah, still the same, hasn't dropped. Right, um, let's see what else we can run. Right, I thought I'll round this up with a different prop. I'll just whack this one on for a laugh. Um, it's a uh, hot three bladed prop I got from Hobby King um, I think it's one of the unbranded ones uh, what was it I think it was a 5x4 three bladed prop I put the blast shield on because these are, these are a little bit flimsy so I might take it easy on the throttle at least it snaps it was a little bit of laugh just to stick a small three bladed prop on there Tell that was warping then. Yeah, not a lot of thrust. Was that all? I didn't bother charging the battery. What's that? 28 amps and 333 watts. Not a lot. So you could probably run a uh, a 6x4 three bladed prop on that quite easily um, probably need to get something a bit beefier than that because these are a bit bendy and you could hear that warping anyway this was the uh, NTM prop drive 2836 2200 kV part 2 video um, I'd say Definitely the best performance there was the um, JXF gas prop. Yeah, uh, yeah. JXF gas prop. Yeah, they seem to be pretty good. They normally take a bit of balancing, and they don't come with the adapter bit ring there. That was from. Um, uh, that was from what was it? One of Hobby King's Aerostar uh, props. That ring adapter, which did 
does fit in there quite nicely so you've got to push that in and then you've got different uh, hole sizes yeah I put a bit of super glue and paper on that side to get it balanced out on the uh, that degree but um, yeah and that was the best performer um, I think APC probably want to want to run definitely more than the 7x5 7x4 might be better because it was over 56 amps and you really really don't want to use the um, the TGS EMP or uh, what was it YMP props they draw way more current that was ridiculous 81 amps right so that was uh end of this motor test of the week if you like what you see here click like and subscribe and you'll see loads more motor tests like this one and as i said this was a part two if you haven't seen the part one where i test it on three four and five cell have a check that one out and uh, i'll see you again another time bye bye